together and ready for a wonderful story and of course today we're reading a book from one of the best storytellers around Dave Eggers and of course beautiful illustrations to boot coming to you from Annie Dills. Get ready for that one, get comfortable. It is coming back to story time after almost a solid two years. It's been a long time indeed but it is a beautiful book, a wonderful, wonderful book and indeed one this a feast for your eyes today. Thank you so much for joining in and welcome. Please as always let us know where you're joining in from and who is joining in with you. Thank you for being here and indeed as we commemorate Pride Month. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime and this week on Storytime as you know we are looking at just observing our world, embracing diversity but also caring for our endangered animals. As you saw yesterday we we're looking at how those elephants uh, found a home at Tula Tula. Thank you so much for joining in and welcome. Always excited to be here with you. Always excited to begin the morning morning with you all. Thank you for being here and welcome to Storytime. Thank you so much for joining in and I hope that you have a lovely day ahead. But of course, before then, we have a story to enjoy together. We have community to build together. Thank you so much for joining in and we're looking at this wonderful book, The Lights and Types of Ships at Night. This one from Dave Eggers and Annie Deals. Thank you so much for being here and of course, reading it with permission of Max Sweeney's Publishing. Thank you so much for joining joining in story time and welcome 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 thank you for being here i hope you're ready for this feast for your eyes and of course a beautiful story feast for our ears as well thank you so much for joining us welcome to story time please as always let me know where you're joining us from and who is joining in with you so we can say good morning to them so we can give them a big big hug or indeed a high five thank you so much for joining us on story time glad to be here with you indeed out here in oakland it's going to be a hot ish day uh, i think we're looking at a high of about 75 so if you're in the oakland area please remember um to um to uh you know, like just be prepared for the for the heat. And of course, if you're going to be outside, maybe a hat and something to protect you, sunscreen and things like that. So be sure to check your weather this morning and see what you're doing outside and please protect yourself. And if you're in other parts of the country, other parts of the world, how is it where you are today? Thank you so much for joining in. I am glad we're here together. Yes, here in Oakland, summer school has started and I'm um, doing that this, this, this summer. And today, Wednesday, we have a uh, parent conferences so it's always an exciting time to meet parents and of course talk about reading techniques and um yeah just also remembering that it is the summer for the kids and not to park them down too much thank you so much for being here on story time and welcome good morning to you betty graden out in florida thank you so much for joining in it is always a pleasure betty to see you here live on story time i know you catch our 11s uh, regularly thank you so much for being here absolutely 
absolutely appreciate you and indeed sending you love, love, love and appreciations. Thank you for being here on Storytime. Betty Graydon in Florida, thank you so much for joining us on Storytime. Good morning to you. I hope you're ready to roll, roll away on all these beautiful books that we're going to be looking at today on Storytime. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning to you, Amanda West. How are you doing today? And of course, Nathan and Sarah. And of course, you're joining us from Muggy, St. Louis. Oh my goodness, you're traveling. Thank you so much for joining in. I uh, wish you happy travels. And you say happily watching the recording after today's camp. Well, thank you so much for joining in. So happy to hear this book today. Well, I am glad you're here. It is a beautiful book indeed. I don't know if you saw it the first time we brought it over on story time but i am glad we're bringing it back and i hope that you enjoy it and get to love it as much as we do here at story time thank you so much for joining in and i want to hear all about camp thank you so much for joining us oh enjoy 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 yourselves out there in st louis thank you so much it is indeed one of um one of uh, my favorite spots. It is the only place in the U.S. actually that I have a relative. So I've been there a few times and I love it. Thank you so much for joining in. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I am glad you're here for story time. And of course, if you join us later on, please, if you're joining for the recording, we send you love, we send you hugs, and we wish you and your community and your loved ones just the very best. Thank you so much for joining us on story time. Good morning to you. How are you doing? Marietta, thank you so much for being here. Henry, oh, Henry, feel better, buddy. Man, it has been a rough two weeks. I hope that you feel better, buddy, sending you hugs hugs and uh, kisses i hope that you feel better thank you so much for, for joining us on story time and indeed um I hope, as always, that we can try and just cheer you up and uh, make you smile today. Thank you so much for joining in on Storytime. Or indeed, if we don't manage to make you smile, at least we can make you say, ah, with all the beauty that we have in the book today. Thank you so much for joining us. And you hope everyone is enjoying their week. Thank you so much for all those positive vibes. Even when you're not feeling well, still caring for this community. We love you. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you so much for caring. Absolutely Enjoying that you're here with us and of course wishing you a quick quick recovery thank you so much henry and of course marietta thank you for joining us out in cloudy massachusetts today thank you for being here hopefully you know these lights bright lights and everything take away those clouds in massachusetts thank you so much for joining in and you mentioned massachusetts i know that the golden state warriors are playing the boston celtic and the big basketball game in the finals so if you're into sports if it's your thing i hope you enjoy it indeed it is uh it'll be gold and and yellow and green out there today at the garden i hope you enjoy the game thank you so much for joining in story time good morning to you jessica how are you doing and of course ali amin out in sunny washington thank you so much for joining in glad you're here with us i hope that you enjoy our book today i am glad you're here indeed to join us for this wonderful book coming to you from annie deals and Dave Eggers, thank you so much for joining in. The lights and types of ships at night. In fact, last night, um, I'm forgetting what program it was on the radio, but I was listening to Dave Eggers um, talk about the podcast that he's been doing, and um, it's just amazing. He's a great storyteller, and I was I was engrossed. I was just in listening to what he was saying, and uh, just talking about his writing process and the way he approaches stories. It is fascinating indeed. If you have a chance, listen to that podcast, or indeed listen to the program from yesterday. I'll try and post and see which, uh, which one it was. I don't think it was... Um, I'll, I'll remember. I'll remember. I promise. And I will send it. I will share it widely. Thank you so much for being here. But today we're looking at the lights and types of ships at night. And this one coming to you, of course, from Dave Eggers and Annie Deals. And of course, we're reading it with permission of Max Sweeney's Press. Thank you so much for being here and welcome. Join me on the other side of this message and we'll be right back for our story today. Thank you for being here. Absolutely appreciate you all. All right. We'll be right back. <laughs> Hi everyone. I'm Amanda with Amanda Weltman Photography. I'm a photographer and printmaker based in the Pacific Northwest and I believe that your face deserves wall space. Enjoy today's story time with my favorite storyteller, Mr. LaMotta. 
Thank you so much for joining in. And of course, thank you, Amanda, for all the good vibes. And of course, baby Bia, sending you love. I hope that you are feeling better today. There's definitely something going around in the air. I hope that you are all getting better. You're all okay. Our story today, the lights and types of ships at night. This one coming to you from Dave Eggers and Annie Dills. And of course, reading it with permission of Max Sweeney's. And you see this cover is magic or two you see at the end of the book i will try and show you what i am talking about all right here we go oh let the feast begin look at that wonderful ship you may have heard of ships they float on water and carry people and things heard of them? <laughs> you may have heard of ships. They float on water and carry people and things. <laughs> Which one's your favorite? Is it the red one? Yellow? <laughs> oh. You may have heard of the sea. It's when water gets together with a plan to surround us. Oh. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? You may have heard of the sea. It's when water gets together with a plan to surround it. <laughs> you may have heard of night. It's what happens when the earth turns away from the sun. What a bright sun. <laughs> may have heard of night it's when it's what happens when the earth turns away from the sun <laughs> and last you may have heard of beauty it's what we call something that pleases the eye so much we ache and say I hope this book is making you say that already. <laughs> yes, you may have heard of beauty. It is what we call something that pleases the eye so much that we ache and say, oh. <laughs> but did you realize that of all the world's most beautiful sights, there is nothing more beautiful than a ship and its lights at the sea at night. <laughs> Do you agree? <laughs> of all the world's most beautiful sights, there is nothing more beautiful than, the ship, than a ship and its lights on the sea at night. <laughs> I hear some of you disagree, but this is true. This is a factual book. <laughs> Look at this ship. It is a container ship full of giant boxes of things. On this ship, there are giant boxes of toys and giant boxes of bicycles and giant boxes of oven mitts and, and basketballs. And this ship is lighted by a thousand lights and these lights are reflected on the to and fro obsidian sea. Has there ever been anything more beautiful? What do you think? <laughs> we say no. This is ultimate beauty right here. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Maybe there is. Hmm. Maybe it's this. This is a trawler, a kind of fishing ship. Look at the strange arms. Look at its strange face. Look at its lights as they are doubled on the water. Has there been a prettier picture? 
We say no. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> There's some stunning pictures in this book. Actually, maybe there is something better. This is a Roro. Is there anything better than the name Roro? <laughs> yes, there is something better, and that is the sight of the Roro moving swiftly through the water at night. Roros are so cold because they carry cars. They roll on and roll off. This, that's Roro, which makes them the best ever of all boats. <laughs> I love that name, Roro. Are they the best ever of all boats? What do you think? <laughs> but no. There is this. This is an exploration vessel. It's designed to explore the unknown oceans, to map the seafloor, to find new underwater species. That sounds like a fun job, isn't it? Look at its round radar unit. Look at its winches and cranes. This is surely the most beautiful of ships at night. It is stunning indeed. <laughs> oh, wait, look here. This is a Barca. See it? So long and so low. It's built to carry corn and cement and heavy stuff like that. Barcas are everywhere. And they sail at night. With their lights on, they go from boring barkers to something magical and triumphant. Look, how can you disagree with that? <laughs> oh, that is beautiful. <laughs> Which one's your favorite so far? Forget what we said about all the other ships being the most beautiful. This is a paddle wheel ferry board, and nothing ever has more gorgeously floated in the night. Look at the lights. So many lights. <laughs> ferry boats like this were developed on the Great Mississippi River and are known for chugging up and down rivers with giant paddle wheels spinning in the back to carry forth all their passengers. Never could there be anything prettier. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Have you been on a pedal wheel boat before? <laughs> what do we have here except these? Wow. There is definitely a claim for the prettiest. These galleons. Have, have you heard of a galleon? Not a gallon, a galleon. They were great and fast sail driven boats favored by the European sailors and even pirates back in the day and were once lighted with oil powered lanterns. Now the antique galleons that still sail the sea are decorated with modern lights inside and out, up and down. And when they appear at night, like illuminated dreams of the past, they are the best of all the things on water. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Told you this book has just stunning page after page. <laughs> but perhaps you will like ice. Perhaps you like ships that blast through ice with lights of every color. Do you? Or do you? <laughs> it could be that you do. This is an icebreaker, an indestructible and brave ship that cuts through ice near the Earth's poles, forging a path for all the other ships. With, this pur with its purpose and its lights that turn and, that turn and sweep, surely the icebreaker is the most stunning of ocean vessels. <laughs> Do you agree with that? What do you think? <laughs> Just look at that. 
<laughs> we are not done. There is more. Oh, 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 it could be these. These are known as chunks. They come from China and have been around for a thousand years or more. Look at their beautiful sails, which look like the wings of dragons. Junks are used to move cargo and people and are still used today all over the waterways of Asia, from India to the Philippines. There can be nothing better to look at ever on water. <laughs> they are. Oh, they're so majestic, aren't they? I'm just waiting for them to breathe fire right now. <laughs> Unless you come across this. This is a small fishing boat, a kind of a kind often seen all over the world from Taiwan to the Mediterranean Sea. A few people will operate the boat and they will fish at night using bright lights to bring the fish to the surface. Why? Because fish are drawn to the moon. This is true. <laughs> When the moon is bright, tiny animals called plankton come to the surface and then tiny fish come to eat the plankton and bigger fish come to eat the smaller fish. So these fisher people will use bright lights to mimic the moon to fish for fish. <laughs> oh. <laughs> But maybe you don't like fish, the smell, the scales. Maybe instead you like Paris. This is a riverboat designed to cruise up and down the Seine, the river that winds through Paris, France. See how low it is, how sleek it needs to be to fit under the low bridges that are everywhere in Paris and allow people and cars and bikes to cross the river. Look at that. <laughs> and when they cross the river at night, they see, and someday you will see these low river boats shooshing, shooshing through the golden Parisian water. You could travel the world and find nothing anywhere more beautiful. Period. <laughs> oh, they are stunning indeed. And hopefully you travel and get to see them one day. <laughs> well, there is more. But maybe you're tired. We have seen so many boats from all over the globe. And maybe you're ready to rest. If you're ready to rest, there is no better place than on a, ho on a houseboat. A houseboat is exactly what it sounds like. A house that is also... A boat, <laughs> a floating home. And when a floating home has dimmed its lights, when everyone inside is ready to sleep, there is nothing prettier, nothing happier, nothing better anywhere on the sea. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Stunning, isn't it? Oh, so beautiful. I love it. And that is the end of our book. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining in Storytime today. I appreciate you so much. And I hope that you enjoyed that wonderful feast prepared for us by Dave Eggers and Annie Deals. Amazing illustrations indeed. And you might want to know too that Annie Deals is from right here in Oakland. Thank you so much for joining in. And glad you were here with me to enjoy this one. I hope you loved it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that it has... Um, Pick your curiosity and you want to go and see these ships out there. If you live somewhere where there's, uh, you know, water nearby, if you're, you know, a coastal or um, city or place, I hope that you get to see these ships and get to see different boats out there. I know like right here in Oakland, there's beautiful spots that you can go and you can watch all these ships come into the port and um, drift away as well. So thank you so much for joining in. I hope that you get to see as many of these in the world. And I hope that now you'll be looking out for them wherever you're out there. Thank you so much for joining in Story Time. I did promise you though that I would show you what the cover has and it is such a stunning cover here and uh, let me see if I can get 
this going. Look at that. It comes apart. Let's see. Of course, you have the cover in the front. There it is in full. Oh, yes. There we go. But then we have the other side. And look what's there. Yeah. So I hope that you get to have this at home and you can open this and maybe put it up on a wall somewhere. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime. I am been honored to be here with you as always and glad we were able to share this wonderful book coming to you from Dave Vegas and Max Sweeney's. Thank you for being here on Storytime. Absolutely love it. This has been the lights and types of ships at night. Thank you so much to Dave Vegas, Annie Deals, and Max Sweeney's for allowing us to share this lovely book. But tomorrow, we're staying on the water. We're not going anywhere else. Yes, and this time, we will be on the, Ch on the Ch Chesapeake Bay, and uh, we'll be saving some of our endangered friends. And this one is Chadwick Forever. Yes, if you've read Chadwick series, you know you're in for a treat. And this one is written by Priscilla Cummins and illustrations by A.R. Cohen. So do join me tomorrow and get to enjoy this one. Chadwick forever save our endangered friends. Indeed, do join me and let us enjoy this life at the sea. Thank you so much for being here on Storytime. Absolutely appreciate you. And indeed, if you have recommendations for books, keep sending them to us so we could definitely share them here on Storytime. Thank you for being here. Let us see one more time who is with us, ready to enjoy those books. Thank Thank you thank you indeed marietta you say so beautiful henry i hope it had you saying oh ah oh, wow all oh, those expletives thank you so much for joining in <laughs> story time i appreciate you and i hope that um you feel better indeed. I hope that you have some good snack out there and indeed um, are staying uh, nice and cozy at home. Thank you so much for joining in today. And to everybody that is joining in Storytime, we're sending you love, sending you appreciations and indeed uh, just the well wishes and positive vibes all around. Thank you so much for joining in. Good morning to you one more time. Ali Amin in Washington. I hope you enjoyed the story. I hope you're here with us. Thank you so much for joining us and I am glad you are here indeed. Amanda West, Sarah and Nathan, thank you for joining us. I hope that your camp is going well. And indeed, I hope that we see you again tomorrow for more story time. Thank you so much for joining in. Cannot wait to hear about all the fun that you're having out there. And indeed, enjoy St. Louis today. Thank you so much for being here. Absolutely love it. Betty Graydon, thank you for joining us out in Florida. It has been a pleasure being here with you. Thank you. Thank you indeed for being here. Absolutely love it. And we'll see you again tomorrow for more story time. Remember, you can find story time. If you don't find us for the live right here at 7 a.m. Pacific time, do join us for the recording at 11 a.m. Pacific time or indeed at your pleasure, at your own time, at your own convenience. You can always go to the Storytime archives and enjoy a good story. Enjoy some community with us. Thank you so much for being here. I am Absolutely honored, absolutely thrilled to have been here with you to enjoy this wonderful, wonderful book, beautiful book coming to you from Dave Vegas and Annie Deals. Thank you so much for joining in today. The lights and types of ships are at night, and this one comes to you from Max Sweeney Publishing. Thank you so much for joining in story time. I'll see you tomorrow again when we are back for Chadwick forever. Yes, indeed, do join me and let's celebrate. Thank you so much for being here. And of course, this month is Pride Month. So we definitely want to be commemorating that and celebrating diversity. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime. Much love from me. Hugs, hugs, hugs to each and every one of you. And I will see you again tomorrow for more Storytime. Please do send us your recommendations. Find us Oh, in the, all our different spaces. We're on Instagram, we're on Facebook, we're on YouTube, and of course at Storytime with Mr. Limada.com. Thank you so much for being here. Much love from me. Bye bye. <laughs> you won't leave lonely. You won't just talk on the reading. I just can't wait to be here. Mm -hmm. People who look like me are just very different From the way that I look and think we be all into stories We me all into stories Some stories from far away Others right here in my neighborhood Story time Story time Story time with Mr. Limata He will
Just can't wait to be 